Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Martin. Folks, the Highlander Research and Education Center, located 30 minutes east of Knoxville, Tennessee, has been providing training for social justice organizations since the 1930s. It has trained the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Reverend Ralph Abernathy, and others. Well, the other day, it burned to the ground, and a white power symbol was found on the site. Joining us now is Ashley Woodard Henderson, co-director of the Highlander Research and Education Center. Uh, uh, Center. Uh, Ashley, uh, what is the latest uh, on this arson? Hey, good evening, Roland. Thank you for having me on. Um, and hello to all our comrades that are watching the show. Um, so just to be clear, one building okay. on our nearly okay. 200 acre facility burned down. Our main office um, and the white supremacist symbol uh, was in the parking lot of that office. We used that office daily, and we had not seen it before the morning of the fire on Friday. Um, the investigation is still ongoing, and we are surviving it. Uh, we are monitoring it very closely, uh, and we expect a full and thorough investigation um, and for justice to be served if this does come back um, as cause of our, as, 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 with a cause of arson. Uh, obviously, uh, it is troubling uh, to the folks there uh, to have this burn to the ground and for that symbol to be found. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's devastating. Um, and our biggest priority was that people be safe. Um, so no one was physically harmed. Um, our archives are still very much intact. Uh, although we don't know yet what we lost in that building, uh, the investigation hasn't been cleared. The fire investigator didn't get here until Monday. The fire started on Friday. Um, and so we're waiting to be cleared to be able to go in and see what we can salvage. Uh, what we do know is that the overwhelming flow of support from all over the world, every central Appalachian state, all over the South, all over the country, uh, from Japan to the Philippines, Palestine to Kenya, South Africa, uh, we've heard like so much love, so many Highlander stories, so many offerings of support. Um, and so we're going to do our due diligence to love and support each other, to continue to be a movement catalyst in the South. Um, and to continue to do our work and keep each other safe. All right, then, oh. Ashley Woodard Henderson, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, thank you so very much. Thank you, Roland. All right, then, I wanna go back to our panel real quick here. Bottom line is, uh, again, I, we're changing. I keep saying white fear is driving so much of these things that are happening. Demographics are changing. They got problems with the people of color who are in Congress. Uh, they got problems with black people who are flexing their muscle, who are organizing. They understand what is coming in 2020. I think you had too many black people who sat on their ass in, in 2016, who bitched and moaned about Hillary Clinton, who said, oh, there's no difference between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, who now realize that was stupid as hell. And you got white folks. This, this is going to be the first election in American history where less than 70 percent of the total electorate is white. Roland, you know, the other piece of this is the language that the government has used to marginalize us. Remember this concept of so-called black identity extremists. But no one has talked about white identity extremists, and these white people are identity extremists. Who burns down a damn educational center? It's easy, an educational easy, easy. center. The same people, Greg, who are white domestic terrorists, who are terrorizing folks all across the country, and then you have the Trump administration who wants to get rid of that office in the Department of Homeland Security. That focuses on domestic terrorists. That's right. I mean, Highlander, man, this is this is a jam-packed show. This is the only place we talk about Highlander like this. I mean, here's the place where Rosa Parks was, where Septima Clark was, where Martin yes. Luther King was, these sisters, Ella Jo Baker. I mean, you know, and they used to have billboards in the South where they see Dr. King sitting at Highlander and it said Martin Luther King at communist training school. And the joke the snick used to tell was they go down the street and they would see these billboards and these white supremacists would say, these are stupid billboards. They, they tell you, uh, they don't, they, they look at him, he's at a communist training school. And then the white kids would come and say, these are stupid billboards. They tell you that he's at communist training school, but they don't tell you how to get there. The point being, <laughs> Highlander <laughs> is ra was radicalizing for the last 60, 70 years. Non-black folks but, and white. It, it, but we we're at a moment, it's radicalizing, but we're at a moment where anything that stands for justice right. is basically a target. So how after 60 years, yes. as you say, of Scepter Clark, Dr. King, call the roll, right. after all this, that some crazy white folks decide well, we're going to well, burn well, this well, up. Well, this is my point. As you're saying, Roland, folks went to sleep. When you burn a building in Highlander, you might just wake some folks up.
and then we might get ready to punch somebody dead in their political face. Joseph, real quick. Hello. Uh, basically, I'm from Tennessee. This yeah. does not surprise me. Me too. Bro. I mean, even <laughs> in the, the, the most enlightened moments, we still have those problems with race, and it does not appear to be going any, any, anywhere anytime soon, particularly when you have an entire administration that's fanning these kind of flames. And again, no shock, of course. 50 50 percent anniversary of Dr. King been assassinated, Memphis, Tennessee. You have Highlander being, uh, uh, that building being burned, and of course that bill in the Tennessee legislature. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible.